Hello, this is Damon Nelson with VidPenguin, and this is just another example of how to do spin tax. And I want to make sure that people can understand it's really simple to do, and I, I do it on the fly. Uh, there's a program called Spin Rewriter and the Best Spinner. Uh, they'll do it for you also. Anyway, I just posted, this is one of my clients, it's, it's a, a photographer, a fitness photographer. And it has a new video, it's a Europa, and he didn't optimize the title or the tags, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in the spin variations. So basically, your open curly bracket, go to the end and put a pipe bar, and that separates your versions. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it right here, and what I'm gonna do is make sure there's a space in here. And I don't know how, what pose down is, I, I guess it's a posing. But it, it was in Dallas, so I want to make sure that, uh, I'll do two or three variations of that. And again, it's text, pipe bar, text, pipe bar. And then when you get to the end, you want to close it. So I'm going to close it with a curly, closed curly bracket. And I'll just, finish this out. And you see I'm just making bare, small changes here. And I'll, I'll keep, I think that's the terminology is posed down. I, Good to know what the terminology is before you start helping them. So anyway, I'm, I'm just going to use it just like that. I copy it, and then I always paste the description of the title one more time right above here. And you can do it however you want to do it. It's what I found just in research is in testing. We we do a lot of just bacon ipsum or lorem ipsum right in the center, and we always put title above and title below on our spin tax variations. So you can do however you want, but uh, this just, it, it's kind of like keyword stuffing in here. So basically I made my variations, copied it, copied it to the first line and to the last line of the description. And I go to preview just to check it. And I've copied that there and I'm gonna also copy it right here. Take out my spaces. Hit save and ping, and I created the feed burger and the internal URL. So now I'm going back to the dashboard, and I'm going to go ahead and you, you're just looking over my shoulder as I'm doing this. I'm going to send it to backlinks indexer, and I always like to put in the on my backlinks indexer. I'm going to come over here and grab the client's uh, URL. Right. Come back into VidPenguin. And so anyway, it's Europa 2015 post down. I'm gonna go ahead and run it through Sidbar so you can get an example of that. And I'm gonna send it to bookmarks and I'm gonna trickle feed and so I'm going to just drip feed it over 48 hours. With my client stuff, legitimate stuff, I, I want to uh, not slam everything as fast as I can through. As I always like drip feeding it. It gives it a little bit longer term stability up in the rankings, but it doesn't pop it up as fast as what we, we can do by slamming everything through. So usually it's 48 hours, and with his stuff, as I always like to do seven days. That means all the variations, it will take seven days, so I'm going to spread it out over a whole week, which means uh, I'll do a posting every 420 minutes. Uh, so what this does is it looks like a very natural uh, progression, and I'm going to do bookmarks with it. So I hit detailed view just so you can see. Uh, Spin tax is in every variation. And as you can see, it already spun it, 
but that's the way it's going to go over uh, to Sidwire. So I'll just hit send all included. And again, this takes about three to five minutes to do. And this was just a quick example of, this is all I do. It, it's taken me literally uh, about two and a half minutes to go through the entire deal with spin tax. If I didn't put any spin tax, it takes about 50 seconds to go through. So anyway, I'm going to conclude the video. I just want to make sure everybody is fully aware of how to do spin tax. It's real easy to do.